former Department of Education and their secretary, Donacito Omali, stated that despite implementing programs and strategies to help young learners read, there are still few students who cannot read or read with comprehension even if they have gone up to a higher grade level. Some of these programs were DepEd's Every Child a Reader Program or ECAR and a Philippine Informal Inventory or Phil Erie and Brigada Pagbasa. However, Synergia Foundation shared our results from a study that covered the elementary students of 91 local government units in the country. They reported that more than half were still frustrated readers, while almost one-fourth of the respondents could not comprehend. Seven out of ten respondents were unable to read in general. Actual student outcomes, as measured by the DepEd's own national assessment program, remained almost the same or even lower. More specifically, in the Calabarzon region, per the results of the National Achievement Test, Regional Order No. 1 Series of 2018. But the top 2018 found in his research that reading comprehension had always been one of the problems of English teachers in the city schools division of Kabuya, an issue central to the conversation of the English teachers when they gathered. For instance, a fail eerie results for the school year 2018-2019 of Biga Integrated National High School, one of the public secondary schools under the Ed City's Schools Division of Kabuyo, reports that majority of the students were classified under prostration, similar to the reports of Batuk Talk and Synergia Foundation. Education scholars explored various factors leading to or hindering reading comprehension, with significant attention to cognitive factors. Among the most prominent subjects in the field was metacognition, defined simply as thinking about your own thinking. The root meta means beyond, so the term refers to the beyond thinking Madeline's definition encompasses the processes of planning, shocking, and assessing understanding or performance. For the statement of the problem, this study aimed to determine the level of metacognitive awareness of reading strategies and its relationship to the level of reading comprehension of selected grade 7 students in Biga Integrated National High School. As a basis for the development of a metacognition based reading enrichment program. Furthermore, it sought to answer the following specific questions. Number one, what is the demographic profile of the respondents in terms of gender, academic performance, socioeconomic status, and exposure to language? Number two, what is the level of metacognitive reading awareness of the respondents in terms of global reading strategies, problem-solving reading strategies, support reading strategies? Number three, what is the respondents' level of reading comprehension? Number four, what relationship existed between the level of metacognitive reading awareness and the respondents' demographic profile? Number five, what relationship existed between the respondent's level of metacognitive reading awareness and the level of reading comprehension? And last, number six, based on the findings, what intervention may be implemented to improve the respondent's metacognitive reading awareness? In regards, here's the conceptual framework presented in IPO model. The input consists of all the data needed for this research. And in the process, it involves survey questionnaire, data gathering procedure, data analysis, and interpretation. Lastly, output will be the proposed metacognition-based reading enrichment program. The researchers 
use the descriptive type of research read a survey questionnaire as the primary source in data gathering. The term descriptive research referred to the type of research question, design, and data analysis applied to the given topic. The research was conducted among selected grade 7 students of junior high school in Miga Integrated National High School, a deaf and managed monograde public secondary high school located in 2nd District of Laguna. Particularly, it is situated at Poroxinco, Miga City of Cabuyo, Laguna. Miga Integrated National High School, alongside other public schools, expanded its offer from junior public high school up to senior public high school since 2012. The respondents' populations and sample size were detailed as follows. The number of grade 7 students was 418, and using Slobin's formula that resulted to 49% of the population, we'd come up with 204 total number of respondents. The research instruments that the researchers used in data gathering were adapted questionnaire from Bill Erie and Marcy, which can be downloaded through the respected sites. Social demographic questionnaire was constructed by the researchers. The questionnaires were validated by the experts. Ernesto L. Bastida, LPT, Maed, Nesitas E. Alegros, LPT, Maed, and Romel D. C. Malyari, PhD. These instruments gathered survey data divided into three parts. First, reading comprehension test wherein the respondents read an expository text entitled Telling Time, Counting Hours, and No Split, and answer 20 questions related to the material right after reading. Here is the content of reading comprehension test form from Phil Erie. First, Telling Time and followed by Related Questions. Second, Counting hours followed by another set of questions, and lastly, no split with its question. The result of the examination will then determine if the reader is under independent, instructional, or frustration based on the pill iri manual. Second, Marcy Questionnaire answered to test students' awareness of reading strategies. There are three particular factors related to this questionnaire. First, the global reading strategies or strategies that we commonly use. For example, I have a purpose in mind when I read or I think about what I know to help me understand what I read. This work with text directly or to manage and monitor the reading intentionally and carefully. Second, problem-solving strategies or use solving problems of understanding that arise during the reading of a text. Some of these were, I read slowly but carefully to be sure I understand what I'm reading or I try to guess the meaning of the word or praised. Lastly, support reading strategies which use basic mechanism intended to aid reading comprehension. For example, I go back and forth in the text to find relationship. This is graded through a rating scale based on the student's own perception of the usage of strategies. And social demographic questionnaire answered to understand the demographics portion of the data and gather information that participants could report about themselves. It involves gender, academic performance, socioeconomic status, and exposure to language. The socioeconomic status not only relates into the monthly salary of the household, the researchers also included the money spent for online reading and printed books to tighten the support of this factor. Here are the results of our study. The 112 respondents are male, which constitutes 46% of the sample population, and 120 females, 
which constitutes 54% of the sample population. Similar to the national average, where Filipino women are enrolled in high school and college at significantly higher rates than men. According to an annual report that measures gender equality in 153 countries through 2019, the results implied that a balance still naturally occur when the ratio of female exists and male. Thus, it is important to consider the difference in quantity does not generally affect results of the research at all means. The academic performance of the respondents was based on their mean grade recorded from first up to third grading in English subject with the survey results presented in table. The table presented the academic performance of the respondents which were classified as outstanding, mean grade of 90 to 100%, very satisfactory, 85 to 89%, satisfactory, 80 to 84%, fairly satisfactory, 75 to 79%, did not meet the expectation, 74 and below. Among the five classification, most of the students were classified under fairly satisfactory classification and FS is equal to 121, followed by satisfactory, very satisfactory, and did not meet the expectation. One respondent was classified under outstanding level. The mean grade of the respondents is 78.76, which is fairly satisfactory. Abiera 2019 research was mostly constant with this finding where majority of the students were on very low level and only one got high level and none of them was very high level on academic performance. The findings further implied that majority of the students were unable to keep in pace with the rest of their colleagues in achieving at least average level in any angle of reading marks, fairly satisfactory, duly paralleled on low proficiency or somehow called pasangawa. The results may also foresee students' lack of skills and abilities when it comes to English academy. The socioeconomic status of the students based on the household income categorized as high range from 50,000 and above, middle from 11,915 to 49,526, and low from 0 to 11,914 and 5 centavos. About two-thirds of the respondents were in the middle income class. Meanwhile, Roughly 30% of the respondents were in the low income class, while the remaining were found to be in the high income class. The respondents' household income reached 18,546 pesos on the average. This means that on the average, the respondents are in a middle income household. The results were distinguishable to a 2018 study by the Philippine Institute of Development Studies since it was stated that majority belongs to lower income class than the middle income class. Mean amount of 193 pesos and 3 centavos and 290 pesos and 73 centavos were allocated for publication materials and internet-based reading materials respectively. The mean amounts for publication and internet-based reading materials were almost identical with National Book Development Board research where majority of Filipinos were willing to spend 199 pesos for a book and an average of 99 pesos and above for ebook or online materials. The findings suggest that the respondents were situated above the expectation from Philippine economic status or even how Filipinos spend for reading materials. 
This show that a great opportunity for resources on cognitive development may be available at stake when it is needed. Hence, the situation should be in good control so the value of the resources may not be disregarded. There were five sources of exposure to language identified by the researchers, namely home, school, church, friends, and social media. Social media in school were found to be the most frequently used source of exposure to English language, with a median score of 3 represented by the statement, I sometimes do this. All other sources of exposure to language have a median score of 2 represented by the statement, I do this occasionally. The result was not too far from Fata and Ismael 2017 where the respondent tend to seek out the media availability as the major source and language exposure at home had the lowest impact. The findings have implications that there is an average to minimal use of second language on given circumstantial state. Thus, respondents have a lot of space for experiencing language exposure to encourage great use of the English language that may lead to them to develop appropriate skills in regards with reading comprehension and other skills associated with them. Metacognitive Awareness of Reading Strategies The mean score in terms of metacognitive reading awareness was 3.18 and placed the respondents in the medium level. These findings were interesting because they suggested that Although the students reported medium use of overall strategies, they still needed to improve their use of specific strategies. In line with this, the researchers observed that in terms of global reading strategies, the respondents were found with high use of using prior knowledge or GLOBE 3 resulting to 3.45, reading with a purpose or GLOBE 1 resulting to 3.44, and previewing the text before reading or GLOW 4 resulting to 3.40. However, the researchers noted that these respondents were low on other strategies, such as skipping parts of text though unimportant, or GLOW 14 resulting to 2.69, skimming the text before reading to see the length and organization, or GLOW 10 resulting to 2.68, and the lowest mean was using typographical aids, example, boldface and italics to identify key information, or GLOBE 22 resulting to 2.62. From here, the researchers inferred that students think all the text generally is important and concentrate on the text itself instead of scheming the text or using features. The results implied that the respondents take no notice of important attributes in academic text, which is valuable in achieving a great use of global reading strategies. Dealing with these weaknesses may provide students time to minimize their effort, allocating the meaning of the whole text and maximizing their focus on important details. Majority, or 66% of the respondents, were in medium level of metacognitive reading awareness using global reading strategies. Meanwhile, 26% of the respondents were in high level. The remaining 8% were the respondents who are in low level. This was imminent with Magogwe's 2015 study conducted among the University of Botswana students where global reading strategy scale was at a medium level. According to Magogwe, the respondents' guessing and thinking skills were limited to deducing vocabulary meanings rather than digging deep into the gist of the text to infer, interpret, and analyze. In other words, the respondents were still not yet proficient in terms of critically interrogating the subject matter of the text. For problem-solving strategies, there were eight items which focus on appeared to be oriented around strategies for solving problems when text becomes difficult to read. That was shown in the table. Considering the kind of problem-solving reading strategies, the respondents claimed to manage through reading slowly but carefully to be sure to understand, or probe 8 equivalent to 3.62, and rereading for better understanding when the text becomes difficult or probe 27 resulting to 3.51. Perhaps, 
the students use those strategies as specific steps in problem solving during comprehension to understand what the text meant. Yet, the respondents were low on how to picturize or visualize information to help in remembering what they read, or probe 21, resulting to 2.84. According to Clem 2019, it gave good effects to ordinary readers. Moreover, pictures were much easier to memorize than words. Item number 18 or probe 18, resulting to 3.13, placed second lowest in use among students who gave a medium rating. This indicated that students did not stop and think of what they were reading, a familiar instance to the findings of Montanes and others. This further implies that there were issues with the respondents' willingness to understand a statement and would just ignore it. The respondents also contemplate with the text as a short bond experience, then retaining beneficial items onto their minds. Digging up this case may later to provide the respondents' desire to appreciate text which give them advantages to comprehension. Similar to the data on global reading strategies, more than half or 53% of the respondents are in medium level, or equivalent to 117, followed by high level equivalent to 88 and low level equivalent to 16. This was distinguishable with the findings of Magogwe, Miller, and Dangin, where problem-solving reading strategy was found at high use. Unlike common results, the respondents were found to be at only medium use of problem-solving reading strategies. These strategies were popularly used and provides frequent opportunities for the learners to unravel reading consequences. This further implies that even at the most elemental strategies, the respondents tend to lack motivation of using it. For support reading strategies, there are nine items which focus to provide the support mechanisms or tools aimed to sustaining responsiveness to reading. Strategies such as I ask myself questions I like to have answered in the text or SOUP 28 equivalent to 3.44, I summarize what I read or SOUP 6 equivalent to 3.32, and I go back and forth in the text to find the relationship among ideas or SOUP 24 equivalent to 3.16 were most preferred. Meanwhile, respondents got low on SOUP 9 equivalent to I discuss what I read with others to check my understanding or SOUP 9 equivalent to 3, which according to Baud encompassed students to learn a great deal by explaining their ideas to others and participating in activities in which they can learn from their peers. The results provided suggest that learners may improve their usage of strategies when given the opportunities to practice it with their colleagues. It furthers to control academic achievement when customarily provided favorable circumstances to employ peer learning. Medium level garnered the highest frequency of 128. This followed by high level and low level with frequencies of 62 and 31. It was similarly distinguishable with findings of Magogwe, Miller, and Dangin. The result of support reading strategies suggests that students should practice helping themselves use other ways to support their understanding in reading. To be competent in individual reading, the learners should unlatch a wide array of resources they may provide themselves in order to unfasten difficulties in comprehending. Among the three components, the problem-solving strategies garnered the highest mean score of 3.28. This means that the respondents, on the average, performed best with their metacognitive reading awareness in terms of problem-solving strategies. This was followed by support reading strategies and global reading strategies. These results were partially consistent with some studies that assessed reading strategy perceptions through Marcy. The findings have implications for the learner's extended starvation for acquiring apprehension in relation to the procedure of using strategies appropriately. Mastery of usage may define an elevated reading achiever and may lead to a model comprehender. On the average, the respondents were in the frustration level of reading comprehension, with mean score of 89.63%. Based near the findings of Cabardo 2015, Abiera 2019, Navarra 2020, 
and Batoktok 2017 where group of learners can be indexed more on frustration level than instructional and independent level. The findings of the correlations between the independent variable and the dependent variables are summarized and being presented. There was a significant weak and negative correlation between the metacognitive reading awareness and the gender of the respondents. There was a significant weak positive relationship between the metacognitive reading awareness and academic performance of the respondents. In addition, there is also a significant weak and positive relationship between the metacognitive reading awareness and socioeconomic status of the respondents. Lastly, there is a similarly significant weak and positive relationship between the metacognitive reading awareness and exposure to language of the respondents. The results implied that metacognitive reading awareness was significantly related to academic performance, exposure to language, and socioeconomic status, and not to gender. And since gender may not be significantly related to it, the remaining demographic components should be paid attention. Taking down notes on the advantages and disadvantages of the constituents relevant to these components, since providing opportunities may not always offer positive outcomes when used irrelevantly. There was significant weak positive relationship between the metacognitive reading awareness and students' reading comprehension level. The findings suggest that metacognitive awareness of reading strategies and improvement in reading comprehension ties up when the learners can clearly recognize suitable use of strategies. This study may find limitations to the material used, however, strives to prove that a relationship existed is worthy in the progression of the stunning issue in Philippine education. Provided interventions will be found on the hardbound copy of our research. This will be the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening.